The Salesforce extensions for VS Code make it easier to test and debug. If you haven't already, be sure to turn on the code coverage option in the extension settings. Here's an Apex test class. You can run a test method or a class with a single click. You can see the raw results and the coverage metrics in the terminal. This icon with three bars will toggle the coverage on and off for the class you have running so you can see exactly which lines have coverage. Want to test your Lightning Web Components locally? There's a shortcut to pick an LWC and have the Jest boilerplate created for you. You choose a package directory and then choose a component. And a test folder with a file in it is created for you. Then you can run the test with one click just like we saw in Apex. This eyeball icon will let you watch the test and run it whenever we change anything in the test or in what it's testing. After its initial run, we're going to change this line so that it's going to pass, and you'll see the test automatically rerun when we save the file. If you have a lot of tests to run and monitor, the test panel lets you do that from a single place. You can see all their statuses and run them all, or any class or any method. You may have noticed the debug icon when we were looking at our test. It also appears here in the test panel. I'm going to click on the one for the LWC test, and it's going to start a debugger. Because LWC are running locally, any breakpoints that you set are going to pause the debugger, and you can look around at variables just like you would with any debugger. But what about debugging Apex that has to run on the server? The extensions let us replay Apex logs in the debugger. First, in our class, we'll set a checkpoint, and then we will update it in the org. We'll turn on the debugger, which is going to set all the levels and trace flags for what we need to trace. Now we'll run the test to generate some logs. We can retrieve the logs and open the latest one. And then we can right click on the log to open it in the replay debugger. And just like any other debugger, we can step through the code execution and see the value of the variables as they change, either on the left hand panel or just by hovering. Testing isn't just automated tests. Sometimes you need to look at the output for styling and usability. For LWC, you can run locally, even though they're connecting to an org for live data. But we can also run LWC in mobile emulators. I'll drag the browser onto the page, zoom in so it's easier to see. Any change we make to our component refreshes the preview, so we can rapidly test and iterate before pushing to the org. And that's how the VS Code extensions give you testing, debug, and local dev server.